Okay, so we've covered some of the basics of the cardiovascular system. Let's continue to cover some of the basics of the cardiovascular system, starting with the heart. Um, so the heart is the pump that propels the blood through the blood vessels, okay? So it provides the pressure that you need in order for the blood to move through the tubes that are the blood vessels, okay? The heart consists of four chambers. We have um, the right atrium and left atrium on top. And then we have the right ventricle and the left ventricle on the bottom. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that we have a wall in the middle of the heart that separates the right heart from the left heart. I also want to point out to you that whenever we are looking at diagrams of the heart, um, that we're looking at it from the point of view of the patient or the subject, right? So um, if you look at this diagram head on, the right atrium and right ventricle are actually on your left, right? But we're thinking um, in, from the point of view of the patient or the subject. Um, and if we think that way, this is going to be the right, their right side, and this is going to be their left side. All right, next I want to cover the pathway of blood through the cardiovascular system. Um, so we are going to start here in the left ventricle, okay? The left ventricle is, ox oh, um, just uh, some, uh, so, sorry, some orientation here. Um, red is going to be oxygenated blood. Blue is gonna be deoxygenated blood. Um, the arrows, again, like I mentioned before, they're going to show you the pathway of blood through the system. I also want to take a moment to tell you that deoxygenated blood is not actually blue. It's just kind of like a darker red. Okay, so oxygenated blood is going to be kind of a bright red. So think about when you cut your knee or something like that, that blood gets oxygenated uh, when it hits the air, it's gonna be this bright red color, okay? Deoxygenated blood is actually like a darker, like brick red kind of color. So think about when you get your blood drawn, that's generally drawn from a vein, um, and that red is kind of a deeper uh, shade of red, okay? So that's what deoxygenated blood looks like. And it's not completely devoid of oxygen. It just has a lower oxygen level than what we refer to as oxygenated blood. Some of you might be wondering, well, if deoxygenated blood isn't blue, then how come when I look at my veins from the outside of my body, why do they look green or blue? And that actually has to do with the light scattering properties of the skin. So the blood itself is actually that dark brick red, but it appears blue to us because of what the skin is doing to that light um, as it approaches our eyes. All right, so back to the pathway of blood um, in the body. We are starting here in the left ventricle. That's oxygenated blood. It's going to be pumped out through uh, this blood vessel called the aorta, this um, artery, okay? and it's going to go into the systemic circulation. After that blood does its exchange at its target, it's going to come back through either the inferior vena cava or the superior vena cava. It's gonna be deoxygenated. It's going to return into the right atrium. From the right atrium, that deoxygenated blood is just gonna go right into the right ventricle and then from the right ventricle, it's going to be pumped out through the pulmonary arteries towards the lungs, okay? When that blood hits the lungs, it's going to pick up oxygen. It's become, gonna become oxygenated blood. It is going to return to the left atrium through the pulmonary veins, okay? And then from the left atrium, we're going to go right back into the left ventricle where we started. All right. 
Um, oh, I also want to uh, make sure to point out the, the names of the major blood vessels. So I do want you to know this, the aorta, which is carrying blood out from the left ventricle, um, the vena cavi, which are bringing blood back in to the right atrium, the pulmonary arteries, which are bringing blood out uh, from the right ventricle to the lungs, and the pulmonary veins which are bringing blood from the lungs back to the left atrium, okay. And finally, I just wanna close with this. Um, I just wanna let you know that there is this table in your book that shows you basically that pathway that we just went through, the pathway of blood through the heart. 